Yeah, I know it's this video seems a bit unprofessional uh, how it's made. Of course, I should do a in in screen video. So I'm just taking my screen here um, with my uh, flight simulator 2020. So this is the Cessna longitude that it's built into uh, Flight Simulator 2020. So this is the cockpit is doing the night and you can see the different displays. Um, what I want you to pay attention to is the uh, the display here with the touch screens for the captain's seat. And I have, uh, you would say, a dummy screen. So I have this on the right side. So let me just take this down for a minute, show you the, um, the option that I have. Sorry about uh, this. So if you press the right, uh, the right L key, then you have the option to just press the mouse. I'm going to do that now. I put the phone down. So when I press the L key, right L key and put the mouse down and then I would drag the screen to the right side here, here. <clears throat> yeah, I have the option to press the map, the weather, and so on. But what I have done is to to share the screen on my Raspberry. Uh, I haven't put up the I haven't put up the screen resolution. Um, so um, so I can use the uh, my it's, since it's a touchscreen. I can use this. Um, so my next plan is, to, of course, to uh, uh, adjust the screen uh, resolution and uh, the orientation. But let's just choose for uh, for this one the the map. So now I choose the map, so it would reflect on the secondary screen. <clears throat> so let me choose the the weather settings here and I would have that chosen. Of course I want to orientate it to the right direction and make it a full screen and then I have my whole screen here uh, <clears throat> as the full display for this um, unit in the longitude. So you can see it's chosen here and if you go down here, it's chosen as well. So what I wanted to do, uh, I can go back to my touch screen here and I can choose the uh, that I want to go out of this one. Uh, sorry. Uh, let me see, how do I do that? Um, maybe I can just do it done. I'm not sure actually how to get out of this menu, but basically it's it's working fine, and this is based on Raspberry Pi uh, with the Linux system. I didn't install any additional software. Um, it's just working just out of the box. So I'm doing screen sharing on my Linux. Uh, box here on the Raspberry Pi and I would probably get the, everything working right now so all the wires as you can see so uh, the whole point is to have this working in uh, in a network and with no HDMI connected directly to my computer so Basically, it's working out of the box. No need for additional software, and it's just connected directly to my Windows. Um, so it's, I'm really, really happy about this um, 
this option without no additional software and I uh, so this is uh, so the display is basically based on the Garmin uh, 5000 directly connected to my uh, to my uh, Windows uh, and to the flight simulator 2020 hope you enjoy this I would post some more videos in how I got this uh, to work if anyone else wants to do the same so um, the cost of the uh, uh, the hardware setup is I would say roughly $50 I would say $50 